country will be a bustling construction site. And much more importantly, as you all know, the amount of land fragmentation that is going on in Kenya is alarming. We have whole counties like Vihiga and Kisi that if we don't do something about it, so shortly they will become rural slums. We need to reverse land fragmentation. And housing is the tool we have to reverse fragmentation and to give us an opportunity to save the land that we have for production of food and production of other items so that we can drive our food security initiatives but also provide settlements and housing for our people. And finally, we will stimulate the whole ecosystem of manufacturing of construction products. Um, recently, I was giving a check of 140 million shillings to, you know, those fellows on Gong Road. You know, those fellows there making furniture there on Gong Road. Those fellows nowadays are entrepreneurs. You know, wale watu mnaona tu ni watu jokali. Siku hizi wako noma sana. You know, they are doing for us doors. They are doing for us windows. They are now a company for a housing plan. So this beautiful project was in the manifesto of Kenya Kwanza. The same housing project, complete with percentages of the levy, was also in the Azimio manifesto. But when it came to implementation, my friends, that is where the devil lives. Nobody wanted it implemented. We all want to talk about it. It is good. You know, we go tell the people, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. When, we, when hardly people mean it, I am telling you this time round, I am implementing it. And I am so determined because we must do it. Korea did it. Singapore did it. Uh, Malaysia did it. And that is why they are ahead of us. We know what we must do, but we ha cannot gather the courage to do it. But this time around, whatever it takes, we are going to implement it. We will also give you guys a chance. You don't have now to uh, harass yourself, or you are looking for cement, I don't know you are looking for steel, I don't know you are looking for stones to go and build a house. Just log in to Bomayangu. I think it is 832 uh, was uh, Bomayangu. Yeah, yeah. Hinga will come and brief you, my peers for uh, uh, housing. You will choose for yourself the house you want. It is the responsibility of the government of Kenya to deliver that house to you. Kaziyako Nikulipa to whatever it is that you need. You don't need to know me, you don't need to know Hinga, you don't need your relative, you don't need your friends, because you know what they do in most cases. So, we will save you the trouble. So, this, I've just given you an example of why we must change Kenya. Yeah? And... I promise you that we are going to move this country in the right direction. We will make the difficult decisions, we will make the smart decisions, because we owe no less to the people we told that this was going to happen. Um, we are also going to save public money we are spending billions of shillings sustaining companies. We have 350 
public companies, public entities, yeah, that just take money from the budget. We are supporting them. Billions of shillings. Some of them you ask, what is this one doing? Nobody can tell you what the hell it is doing. But we are putting in 100 million, 200 million, 500 million every year. So some of those uh, things we are going to make a decision. And by the way, very interesting. A report was already done. A whole report saying these companies, about uh, 150, should be removed. What they are doing can be done by the private sector. In fact, sell some of these companies to the private sector. The private sector will give us more value out of them. Yeah? Some of them divest. But the report has been here now 10 years. Because it's a very difficult decision to make. But I will make the decision. I promise you. <laughs> I will make the decision and take the consequences. Because Kenya must move. Yes, if we know what the right thing is. My friends, you can never go wrong by doing the right thing. How can you go wrong by doing the right thing? So we are going to make those decisions because, and, and, and I am talking to you as members of our diaspora, um, because we, we must change Kenya. I don't want to talk about taxes because you guys, I know, you know how much you pay. Munajua. Uh, <laughs> Sindio. <laughs>